Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, December 17th, 2013. This is Jennifer, and I have just a couple of things to show you. They are things you've actually just seen recently because they've been in progress. I did finish the binding on my Harry Potter alphabet quilt, and I will move a little bit so you can see. It's actually a scrappy binding, so it goes red, yellow, pink, blue, and then it has green and orange on the bottom. It's scrappy all the way around. I will um, share pictures of this guy on my blog and probably with the Fandom and Stitches um, Flickr group so that you guys can see what it looks like. I'm very pleased to have this done. These are the original alphabet blocks from when I ran Harry Potter paper piecing and I did a a uh, different letter every week and would do a um, a block that corresponded that started with that letter. The other thing I finished is the quilt that I showed you last week that I cannot show yet, but I did want to show you that I finished the binding. I actually um, machine stitched this binding entirely. This is a very large, very heavy t-shirt quilt and it is meant to be used and I anticipate it's going to be washed fairly regularly, so I wanted to make sure this binding was going to be really sturdy. And so if you've never done machine binding, um, complete machine binding, you actually, you sew it to the back instead of the front, and then you bring it to the front and you top stitch it. So it actually, let's see if you can see that. Um, you can really not see, I've already washed this, so you can tell it's already crinkled up a little bit, but you can barely see, because of the, the nature of this fabric, you can, it's really hard to see the actual stitching. And because I've washed it, you can already, you get all the crinkly, lovely quilty bits. I can't show this yet because it is a present and I don't want my husband getting a sneak peek of it. So um, I'm actually saving this to show to my bee on Thursday and then after I meet with them on Thursday I'm going to wrap this up and it's going to go under a Christmas tree. So for the next week I'm going to be posting pictures on So Hooked of Christmas ornaments and decorations that my family and I have made over the years. I, since I'm not doing a lot crafty right now I want to show you the kind of things that I did with my kids when they were smaller. Um, we did all kinds of ornaments and we made all kinds of decorations and all kinds of things and I won't be featuring all of them but I'm going to pick um, about seven of my favorites and Wednesday through uh, Christmas Eve I'm going to post a picture every day to share with you of some of the craft things that we've made together. And for those of you that have some smaller children and even those of you that feel like just making some simple ornaments there might be something that you like and most of the things are very self-explanatory and I will do my best to explain. Um, how whatever it was was made so that you have an idea of what's going on there in case it's something you'd like to try out yourself. A couple of quick reminders. Um, registration for Paper Piecing Vintage is still going on. It is still half price. Um, it will be half price through December 31st, so you have two weeks from today to get your $6 registration. Um, as of January 1st, it will be $12 and it will stay $12. We have a really nice turnout for people that are signing up early. We Last count we had over 50, close to 60 people. A good number of those people have signed up for the Facebook group and people are already sharing their fabric choices. Um, I've done some more color options for different people. Definitely if you sign up for Paper Piecing Vintage, consider signing up for our Facebook group because I think we're going to have a really nice community there and it's really fun to be part of a quilting community when you're all working on the same project. Um, if you worked on the Project of Doom or anything like that in the past, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Speaking of the Project of Doom, the 2014, uh, the first project for 2014 for Phantom and Stitches is As You Wish, which is a Princess Bride quilt and stitch along, and that's going to start middle of January. So make sure you stick around for that. That's going to be super fun. Um, our designs are piling up, and it looks like this is going to be an amazing quilt. And I will give you a little. Um, a little secret that in advance there um, normally we have one layout for our quilt alongs and our um, block of the months and things like that there are going to be two options this time for layouts so I'm excited to be able to share that we're going to have a, a beginner option and we're going to have a more intermediate advanced option so hopefully that will bring all kinds of excitement and a lot of variety to the way the, the finished quilts will actually look so that's it. It's a little bit short this week, but like I said, I've got a, a house full of, of people I love that I've been busy uh, enjoying and entertaining and just having a good time having them here. And I'm also working on things that are for gifts, so I can't show any of that. Um, make sure you stop by Sewhook to see some of my um, ornaments that my kids and I made together over the years. And be sure you stop by Phantom and Stitches because there are new patterns all the time. Um, not every day, but three, four times a week we have new patterns and we have a couple of new designers that are making some really amazing things and uh, so make sure you stop by there and see what's going on. 
and um, just FYI, I probably will not post a video next week. I'm undecided, but I, it's uh, next Tuesday is Christmas Eve, and my whole family is going to be home, so it is extremely unlikely that I will be posting a video. So if I don't see you before then, then uh, I hope if you are celebrating Christmas, you have a lovely holiday, and if you're not, I hope you enjoy having hopefully at least a day off, a little bonus day off, and um, avoid the crush of humanity out there shopping. I tried to do a little shopping that was unrelated to Christmas yesterday and there were six million people out there. So you guys be safe and uh, happy crafting and I will see you very soon. Bye.